you know what? <laughs> After that one beer, I'm kind of fucking buzzed. That's tight. Let's do a little review. How's Eric gonna get here? <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. <clears throat> Yo, what's going on? Today we're gonna review Deep Elm IPA. This is uh, their flagship beer, obviously. It's Deep Elm Brewing Company from Dallas, Texas. <clears throat> yep, another Texas IPA. Amazing. I know. I've been drinking Texas IPAs like most of the channel, so whatever. It's, it's what I can buy. Mm. Um, yep. This is pretty good. <clears throat> uh, it's like... Bitter at first, and then sweet at the end, and then a little bit of a, I don't know, bitter aftertaste, kind of sticks in your mouth. I don't really like beers that stick in your mouth, like they stay in your mouth. I don't get why, why anybody would like that, but you know, it's it tastes good initially, but man, that aftertaste is fucking bullshit. Oh man, hopefully when I start brewing my own beer, I can solve that problem and it's not going to be there. But yeah, Deep Ellum, pretty good beer, I definitely recommend trying it. It's got a pretty cool can, you can recognize it from far away, I like the colors. And uh, I don't know the alcohol content. I'm going to go ahead and guess and say it's 6%. Oh, look, there it is. It's on the... I think it's 6.6%. That's... There we go. That's pretty cool. You like this beer, Justin? I don't think I've tried that one. You want to try it? It tastes like rum. It's kind of average. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, I'll give this beer a 7 on the scale from 1 to 10 just because really nothing special about it. It tastes like, it tastes like your average IPA. It's not like it's, it's not, it's not, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. And, uh, I really like the initial taste, but that aftertaste really gets me down. <clears throat> So, I'd, I'd buy this at the bar again, or anywhere really, if it's available. Um, this would probably be like my fifth option, <laughs> if there was other beers available. But yeah, I would, I would get this, and you should totally try it, because you need to try every beer ever. Because that's my, that's my main goal, I don't know about you, but it's delicious. In the beginning, and then bitter and sticks in your mouth at the end. But uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give this beer a 7. Again, that's just a passable grade. Average. Um, I don't really know how much it costs. I'm sure it costs just the same amount as every other beer that's out there, like 8, eight, eight to 10 dollars a sixer. Um, and this shit is everywhere as well. This shit is, this shit's at the liquor store, at the bars, probably not at the chain chain restaurants like Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. I don't know why I always say Buffalo Wild Wings, <laughs> but I guess because I've been going there a lot. <clears throat> but yeah, drink this beer, get drunk. Oh, I'm wearing a beanie because I was just outside. It's kind of cold. It's cold front coming. Yeah, it is fucking cold. Mm-hmm.
I skated in that shit. Oh, for real? Deep Ellum. I don't know what that even means. Might be a name. But, uh. It's in Dallas. Go check them out. Chug a beer.